Number 56, what is the gauge pressure in millimeters of mercury inside a soap bubble 0.1 meters in diameter? All right, so uh, whenever they're asking for gauge pressure, they basically just mean what's the pressure inside of an object, all right? Uh, the unbalanced force basically and when we calculate this the formula down here on the right hand side is that of basically gauge pressure it's the pressure inside of the spherical bubble this formula remember is specific for a spherical bubble and that's it do not use this on other shaped objects um, so basically what i can do is let me write that formula down so the gauge pressure here even though it doesn't say that it is so i'm going to write it with a little g is equal to four multiplied by the surface tension all divided by then the radius Okay, of the spherical bubble. So in order to find out the pressure, I need to know two things, the surface tension and the radius. So the surface tension, they told us it was a soap bubble. If you look this up in the table, here is the surface tension of a soap bubble. Um, and the radius, they gave us the diameter, but obviously we can simply find the radius, right? Divide that by two. So let's just plug in the value. So this is four times then the surface tension of 0 0.0370, all divided then by the radius which is gonna be the diameter that they gave us divided by two. So this should be fairly straightforward. So four times 0 0.037 divided then by uh, 0 0.05 essentially, right? So 2.96, okay, so 2.96, and this is then in Pascals, okay? We use standard units in there, standard units get spit out, standard units of pressure is Pascal. And hold on, whoa, 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 don't. <laughs> I was ready to I was ready to finish the video. It says millimeters of mercury. So this is good. This is an answer, just not in the right units. Now all we need to do is convert this into millimeters of mercury. We've done conversion like this in the past. So we can take the 2.96 value, uh, and this is in Pascal, and realize that for every well, it's not really a one-to-one. -one. I mean, we could make it a one to some odd conversion, but I just know it in terms of relating it to atmospheres that the relationship between Pascal and millimeters of mercury will be 1.01. .01. You can go out to three. I just use 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth Pascal for every 760 millimeters of mercury. All right, Pascal's cancel, and now here you go. So take that answer, multiply it by 760, divided by 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth, and what do we get now? So we get a value of about, uh, put in scientific notation, so there's gonna be 2.22, right? I think, no, yeah, 2.23 or so. It might change depending upon how specific you got with your Pascal conversion value. Uh, 2.23 times 10 to the minus two, times 10 to the minus two, and this is now millimeters of mercury. All right, so that, now that's good. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, tell your friends. We'll see you next time. Take care.